good evening everyone. And uh, my speech is going to be like the Varnam in Carnatic music. Those who know Carnatic music know that the Varnam is a short piece which is sung at the beginning of the concert to be followed by longer and the more intricate pieces. This is a follow-up of Rikotanomania. Uh, some time ago I presented uh, a boy, a young boy who came to my clinic with Rikotanomania and uh, this is the follow-up. Next slide please. And this boy, 7 years old, came to me about 10 months ago with uh, hair loss like this in the oxygen. <laughs> We find that there are three clear zones. The zone number one is normal hair. Zone two is hair that is lost recently. And we also get to see regrowing hair at different places and at different lengths. This is trichotillomania. Trichotillomania. The name was given in 1889 by Halapu. It is a combination of three Greek uh, words. Trix, which stands for hair. Tilin, which stands for to pluck out. And mania, we all know, is madness. There are two types of trichotillomania. One is called as the focused one. The other is the non-focused one. A focused one is the, the type of trichotillomania where there is a morbid rage to pluck out the hair and when asked to resist there is increasing tension and once the hair gets plucked out there is relief, pleasure and gratification. Whereas the non-focused type of trichotillomania is one where the patient does some other activity like say reading or watching a TV and then keeps twirling the hair and plucking it out. Trichotillomania is seen both in children and in adults and in children it is usually self-limiting and regrowth they can't take place even in the absence of any treatment. In adults the results are not so good. This child on assessment was found to have some problems with school. He had gone to a new school and apparently had problems getting along with his schoolmates. And uh, following local treatment and counseling given by the counselor regarding school, there was a steady improvement. Picture number two was taken two months after the treatment got started. Third was four months, fourth was six months, and the last one was taken two weeks before. We find a steady improvement in this patient. Trichotillomania can also be present with other conditions like nail biting, cheek biting, and lip biting. Can I have the next slide, please? This young girl, a software professional, came to me about six weeks ago with this erythematous lesions on the cheek, the mandibular line, and also on the chin. The history is very interesting. She had a hyperpigmented lesion, and as usual, she considered her friends for advice and they gave her a choice of two or three triple drug combinations to be applied. Triple drug combinations are the ones which are available in the market under various names. I would like to name them. They are combinations of steroid, retinoin and hydroquinone. They were first introduced by Albert Kligman and Kligman's original formula had 0.1% of retinoin, 0.1% of dexamethasone 
and 5% of isocretinoin. And uh, interestingly, Kligman was the one who first discovered retinoic acid and revolutionized the treatment of acne vulgaris. And two to three weeks after the triple drug combination got applied, the girls started getting erythema. This is as a result of the side effect of the retinoid. And she stopped it and following which she developed hyperpigmentation. That is as a result of weaning of the hydroquinone. So she had a double whammy. She had the side effect of the retinoin followed by that of the hydroquinone. So she again consulted her friends and they asked her to apply. Can you guess? Dettol. So she applied Dettol undiluted on the face and ended up like this. So what does Dettol have? Dettol has chlorozylenol and tripeniol. They are chlor and so they are fluorinated phenol derivatives which can literally burn the skin. That's precisely what happened. So this is an alkali burn. She was asked to stop the Dettol and a local emollient was given and two weeks later this was the picture and we can see the hyperpigmentation which all started this and this was four weeks later. Now she is going to be in for a long haul because her pigmentation has to resolve without the triple drug combination of Kligman. Thank you very much. Your first case uh, of that it can be due to possibly irritation in a long travel, regular chronic uh, travelers you know, by the irritation of the vaccine. Uh, so you mean this uh, because of uh, constant friction? friction. Uh, but uh, frictional hair loss is not, uh, uh, you don't mean the three classical zones, madam. And where the hair that is grown is at irregular intervals. The hair that is grown in regular uh, is called irregularly irregular. And just as we described the pulse in uh, cardiology. Yes, right. Yeah. Right. The general need as ever is to reduce the use of chemicals in our environment among our own human body. Every segment of the medical practice, things are increasing. Bronchiolasma, hyperactive allergies, malignancy, destruction of the cells, diabetes, everything is increasing. Therefore, even in household, the less chemical we use, the better. The, we have to reduce the use of chemicals in our environment. All the Subsidization to chemicals, segments of this are increasing. Bronchiolasma is increasing. The span is coming down in Delhi. All those people are attributing chemical to the malignancies, mitosis. Therefore, it is mandatory that as far as possible we reduce the chemicals in the environment on our individual level. So I have a request to Dr. Chandrasekhar to attend over here. So I have a conversation to Dr. Bishri. Thank you.